In this video, I'm going to teach you how to fix Fortnite, a D3D11 compatible GPU. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to show you multiple methods that you can follow to fix this issue attributed to Fortnite or any other games that you are trying to run on your computer. Now, usually this error is attributed to DirectX 11, which is something that Fortnite needs to have working properly when you try to run it. It is the same for most games nowadays. The first thing that I recommend that you do is go over to your Epic Game Store library, right click on Fortnite, go into Manage, and you will find the launch options in here. Tick this option and make sure that you leave this on enabled, do not disable this afterwards, and type out exactly D3D11. What this is going to do is force the game to run on DirectX 11. You can close down this tab and try launching the game. See if it works and you get past the loading screen. For this video, I'm not going to launch the game because I am currently recording the methods, but you should go ahead and try to see if this fixes your issue. If it doesn't, let's move on to some other additional steps that you can take. First, open up a web browser and look for DirectX and User Runtime on Google. You will find it hosted on the Microsoft website. Make sure that you visit this page here on the official Microsoft.com website and you can download DirectX. Updating DirectX and installing all the libraries will fix DirectX errors attributed not only to Fortnite but most games like I said previously. So make sure you update DirectX and also you update C++ so you can look for Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable and download all of these here. So just click on these blue links here, scroll down and you can find them to download here. Usually for most people you are going to be downloading this one on a 64-bit machine. If you are unsure, make sure that you check if your computer is 32 or 64 bits and you download these accordingly. Try running Fortnite again after you update these and if it still doesn't work, I'm gonna move on to the last option that you have. Open the display adapters on your computer. You can do this by going over to the Windows icon over here, going over to Device Manager and finding Display Adapters. These are basically all the display adapters or, in a general sense, graphics cards attributed to your computer. As you can see, I only have one, which is this AMD GPU. You can sometimes have multiple cards here. and. If you have an AMD, NVIDIA, or even Intel GPU here, those are going to be your best options. So right click them and you can try updating the driver here. If you have something like Intel integrated graphics, you could be using those instead of the GPU. So you want to go ahead and try switching over to the dedicated GPU instead of using integrated graphics. Another thing to check is to note down the name of your graphics card if you have one. So for example, mine is the 7900XTX and visit the AMD or NVIDIA website where you can find the latest drivers for that specific GPU. So as you can see, look for AMD drivers or NVIDIA drivers on Google and you will be able to download the latest version of the GPU drivers. By keeping your drivers up to date, you are going to ensure that you don't get any errors when trying to run Fortnite or any other game on your computer. Computer. I hope one of these methods help you fix Fortnite a D311 compatible GPU. If any of these methods help you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.